game. I'm not a big fan, Sean, of the one game wild card. I just think you play 162 games, really, and, and one game, I'm done with the playoffs. But that's In his 20-plus years as a Houston sportscaster, John Granato isn't known for keeping his sports opinions to himself, except when it comes to his blue-chip quarterback son, JT. It's been neat. You know, I, I obviously have, I can uh, look at him with a critical eye. And sometimes we'll talk about it. Hey, you know, you, you did this or you did that, you know, and or I, mostly I stay out of it just to let him be him. I mean, about the only thing has been the case with just football itself. I mean, he's there's nothing that he gets involved with in the football. So, I mean, now it's just up to it's up to us and me and what I can do. But he, he's always been behind me. So uh, I'm really glad that he has been. Not that there's much to complain about. While the elder Granado had a successful high school career and went on to play quarterback at Knox College, he leaves the finer points of the game to his radio co-host, Sean Salisbury, who had a 10-year professional football career. You give me a guy, my number one trait in training JT or any other quarterback is how tough are they, mentally, physically, and emotionally. I, and we can fix certain things with feet and where their arm angle is, but you can't fix that, and he's got that. Um, and he's a gym rat. I think you look at all the great quarterbacks at any level, whether they got great talent or whether they have average talent around them, they take that talent and they take ordinary and make it extraordinary. You know, there's a lot of kids that have talent out there, the big arms, good athletes, all that, don't have the work ethic. JT Granado has not missed a single workout in the off season since the day he set foot on campus. That says a lot about a character. He's great grades, high character kid day in, day out. Uh, so wherever he goes, he's going to be successful because of the work he's going to put in. He's got the God-given talent, and then he's got the work ethic on top of that that's going to, I think, is going to make him become a, uh, an amazing player at the next level. I'm getting rocked. Let's go! It's tough because, you know, guys that I know, one of them, they say, hey, we're offering him a scholarship. Hey, we're offering him a scholarship. Hey, you know, I'm getting calls from, from coaches that I know for, for years. They're saying, hey, we're looking at him and all kinds of stuff. So it's, it's, it's been a it's pretty, pretty neat experience. At 6'3 and around 200 pounds, JT is one of the top quarterbacks in the state and a big get for the Rice program. And equally important, it's a great fit for JT. Rice is five minutes away from my house. And so uh, I, I think that's pretty cool that I can go home and my mom can do my laundry, you know, just stuff like that. And I'm pretty excited for that. But uh, I mean, I just still got to worry about this year and what happens this year. And then after that, we'll, we'll figure out the whole Rice situation. But I'm, I'm really excited. Yay! <laughs> His dad's passion for sports has been a big part of JT's development, but the bright future that lies ahead is all his own. It's going to come to the point, I hate to say this, where John happens to be JT's dad, not JT is John's son, okay? Congratulations to Kincaid's JT Granado, this week's Chevy Spotlight honoree.